Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our accessibility series. I think we can call them already series because it's a second video. Uh, last time uh, I showed you a little bit what it feels like to use internet and computer w with the screen reader, the software that's used by blind people primarily. This time we're going to look at screen magnification software which is also widely used but primarily by people who have some vision and we have Caro today with us who's going to show you and um, talk to you about it in more detail. So welcome and enjoy the ride. All right, so um, on everyday basis I use a screen magnification program to see the screen a little bit better. So actually the way you see the screen now uh, this is the last time you're going to see it like that uh, throughout the entire demo uh, because what I'm going to do right now is I will uh, launch zoom text and then you will see only a portion of the screen. Okay. Zoom text enabled. Okay, that's how usually the screen looks to me. Uh, I see it piece Actions. by piece. Okay, let's just uh, have a look at the screen first at the desktop What's before up? we go any further. All right. So this is the upper upper left corner of, of my screen. A lot of icons. The trash. trash bin. Okay. I'm just now going around the desktop and you probably recognize some areas like this is the time and date. And the taskbar going backwards towards the start button and icons. Okay, so this is how um, how Zoom t uh, how desktop as well as any other application looks to me, and uh, start. 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 let's go moment. to Internet Firefox. Firefox. Box. Okay, again. History menu. Uh, okay. Location combo box H W W Y A H O O O M. All right, so as you can see, again, it, it shows me only the upper portion of the screen. This is the left part, and I know that because I, I've been to this website many times, so I just remember that on the left side of the screen there is uh, Yahoo's logo, uh, and that if, if I go down, I'll see a menu, wonderful pink menu, and, and then here there are some uh, news, and so on and so forth. And uh, I will show you a little bit more detail about those in a minute. Program I just wanted you to uh, have a look at Zoom Text again. Okay, Tools so this is how Zoom Text looks, the main interface or Zoom. Um, Zoom the place where I can uh, adjust different options in Zoom Text. So, uh, for example, this is the magnification level. Right now it's three, but you know, obviously I could make it bigger. And of course, the uh, more you magnify the image, the less uh, you can actually see on the screen. So then it's kind of tricky. Uh, you have to be a really experienced user to use it on a on a high magnification like that. Just going through one menu just to show you. Okay. So yeah, we don't even get the whole Yahoo logo. So I mean, you then literally Yahoo. just Yahoo. it's like a big puzzle that you have to put together for yourself. So um, I think it's it's always hard to view uh, web pages for the first time with such a big magnification because you really you really have to scroll Why? and uh, have a look at it piece by piece. As you can already pointer. see, I have adjusted my pointer. I made it yellow, so it's easier for me to see. This is a small detail, but it definitely makes life easier for me. Focus. You can choose, obviously, different colors of the pointer. So. OK, so uh, I put together this little PowerPoint. Um, it's got Camera. just a couple of slides to uh, help you uh, get through some concepts that I'll be talking about. Uh, gardens and pyramids, that's how I called it. Uh, how the screen magnifier and uh, the web get entangled. Um, and uh, let us look at the first, at the first uh, picture. Okay, so uh, first I wanted to talk about 
uh, parts of the web and uh, screen reader that are the same um, as they, they would be the same and or they would they would be the same as uh, with an, uh, magnification software programs um, and one of the major ones is layout uh, you probably have seen in, in the previous video that uh, uh, there was a, a lot uh, of talk about layout and how important it is uh, for screen readers to work properly and uh, it, it is the same with uh, screen magnifiers. As you probably recognize, this is the garden uh, in Versailles. And why I put it here, because I thought of layout. And so as you can see on the picture, things are very structured. So flowers would not be growing on a path of a garden uh, and bushes would be growing in certain places. And so, you know, it would be a very easy path to walk uh, among those beautiful flowers and bushes. And so uh, the same is true for, for any website, that layout is very important because it um, helps you differentiate between different sections of a website. For example, a menu uh, should look different from the section where, uh, where you have content uh, or advertisements and so forth. Yep, start. So again, if we look back at Yahoo's Program website, Search. Okay, so as I was showing you earlier, so this, this section is the menu Start. and it does look different from the main Luxury. content of the, Luxury. from the main content of the website uh, because it's got Demand. different, uh, different Demand. color of the links and, and also Start. the color of the uh, background of the menu itself is different. Find. Compare. So Artist. now I just really like the layout of this page. It shows me the results of my search. And uh, so if I scroll down on the left side, I will have the pictures of the products. OK. And I know that if I want to look at prices, I have to go to the right. And so there will be, for all the products, they will be just on the right side of the screen. So, you know, I don't have to LLB look around, for example, if I like the jeans, those jeans, and I, and I want to find out the price, you know, I, I don't have to look around to the left or Accent. just right Accent. next to it. I pretty much, once, once I learn the layout, I can pretty much figure out that it's going to be the same throughout, throughout the entire page. So it just makes it very easy. So something that, again, may be taken, taken for granted for many people. It's definitely not <laughs> taken for granted for Zoom text users or for magnifier screen magnifier users in any case. All Link right, let's go to personals. A. Search. Okay, uh, before I do that. Pyramids, Zoom tech, Zoom text user interface. Zoom okay, I'm coming back to Zoom text. Focus. And um, in uh, Zoom text, there is a wonderful feature that actually allows me to uh, uh, to check the focus. So it will just be easier for me to actually identify where the focus is on the screen. So let's do that. Uh, custom, custom, actually, radio button let's check. Key. Okay. When modifier key is pressed, radio button checked. When and modifier, my modifier CTRL, key will be control. CTRL checkbox checked. CTRL okay. checkbox checked. So each time I will press a control key now, I will be able to find my focus, which is helpful. Uh, uh, zoom text user interface. Or okay. begins woman. Combo box woman one of three. Name okay, woman. so now, okay, I pressed control and I know exactly where my focus is. So it's, again, it's a small feature for some people, but uh, it may be helpful for others. So it's, it's great to have it. Um, alrighty. So um, Yahoo Personals allows me to choose a mate or a uh, date um, online. So, okay, I guess I am a woman. Three. Looking Combo for man a man. Let's just make sure. Okay, so it's properly focused on a man. Edit box 20. 20. No. Six. Let's go for 60. more experience. Edit box 40. Eight. 80. 80. Combo Why not? Box 50 miles. One of 50 miles. Sure. Man. Edit box. Okay. And um, let's just check our focus again. Are we okay? Oh, we don't have to check worry about checked. that. Checkbox checked. Yes. 
link his body type anyway. Oh, we don't have to worry. Okay, and then Sorry, I guess match. if I if I click that button, I guess let's just get there just to see if the focus will change. Anyway. Can you can you see that little? There is a little uh, square now around more. around the link, but of course it's much more visible with the zoom text add-on. Link is link more. More. Find my match button. All right. So if I press that, my future would be in somebody's hands. Yahoo actually does have a nice uh, selection of colors on the menu. Um, options. Okay. Link page options. For example, we can choose this one. Start. Two tip click here to begin. Uh, Yahoo. Okay. Search. Edit box. Options. Which. But. Um, Program selection dialog. Microsoft. Power let me just show start. you what. Zoom. Missing. Zoom text, Sports. Zoom text can do it. It's got a little color. bit more advanced uh, color options. So while Yahoo color options are great, they don't really, I would say they don't uh, take care of all the uh, users with uh, low vision because there are all types of low vision. So just because I choose certain preferences doesn't mean that they are perfect or better than any other preferences. Um, so Color enhancements menu open. There are people, for example, who uh, who are colorblind, so then they would not see certain colors at all. And, or there are people who prefer to have things a little bit uh, blurred. They don't like uh, things to look so bright on the screen. Uh, so that's why it's, it's good to give them a lot of color options. And I'll show you they look quite cool and different from what Yahoo has to offer. Norm, scheme, scheme menu open. Brightness for okay. USB. I actually did see a lot of people use that particular Search, option. So, okay, this is still Yahoo website, and nothing has changed in terms of. I mean, nothing is modified in Yahoo's source code. Obviously, this is just uh, the feature of the screen magnifier. And uh, many people, that's how they like to uh, to read. They like to have dark background and uh, light letters. Weather, okay. start, the black for short, blue die for shortcut. Okay, USB. the world in blue. All right, so this is Yahoo's website again. Just Search, edit box. All in blue. And if you can see, it's just uh, very, to me, it seems like very calming. It's, it's got this calming effect because of the blue color. Type menu open. I will now change the window type in Zoom text because uh, there are several options here and we won't go through all of them, but I just wanted to show you that, again, because there are people with so many uh, needs, um, you know, then it's great to give them different options to choose from. Uh, for shortcut. Lens for shortcut. Okay, lens. What this particular for shortcut USV. viewing option allows me to do is to view a website um, also by by parts, of course, or by pieces, but still I can see the rest of the website unmagnified, so it kind of gives me a better perspective of where I am. Mm, so, for example, if, if I am on the picture, it's, it's easier to figure out where I am because I can still see what's around the whole picture. So, if I needed to go to, let's say, to Yahoo Messenger. I know I, I have to go to the right. You know, I wouldn't be looking in this direction at all because I know it's the menu. I just wanted to show you one thing that uh, Zoom Text has to offer, and uh, it's got to do with the layout and uh, how how nicely it reads the layout, and it basically looks at at the code of the web page. So that's where good coding practices become really important. In the past, actually. Um, you know, it just was not possible. But but now, now this feature is it, it just works great, and uh, just wanted to show you what it does. Program selection. Okay, Here so start. Zoom text. No, zoom text. Choose. Ta reader. Reader. Reader tab. Reader. App RDR. Doc RDR. Okay. App RDR. Application reader. So now what is what is Confirm. what it will do is it it will read uh, blocks of text. There's there's a two year wait for the Rolls convertible, but other new cars are in demand too. Which ones? The top luxury service for towing convertible crash test story. 
The most anticipated new luxury cars, Paul Abdul. It'll help her find purposes that heal emotion better than a Okay. Psychic. So if you noticed, it went very nicely. First, first it read this part of the screen, then it went and read this one, and then this one. So it could follow the layout of of the page, and that's how it was able to read read it correctly. Um, in the very first version, I believe of uh, of Most Zoom text, it it actually was reading from left to right, um, and so my my point only is that. Those, those programs really keep improving and so uh, the better the websites are programmed or uh, coded, the easier it is for, uh, for the software such as magnifiers or screen readers to incorporate the coding and interpret it correctly. Uh, and uh, I've got a picture for that. Okay. So it's represented as a pyramid in my presentation and it basically I was thinking of uh, thinking of um, of a website from the ground up, and basically uh, thinking of it starting from good foundations like pyramids, and then building it building it all the way up, rather than just trying to patch it here and there.